Close to Yerevan, the capital of Armenia, and within sight of the Ararat Mountains, are the ruins of the unusual Zvotnots Palace Church. A sacred place dedicated to angels, which is said to have come to Holy Grigor in a dream. Master craftsman created this huge circular church in the middle of the 7th century. In the 7th century, Armenian architecture flourished. Catholicos Nersis III had a circular church built here. On the ground are the remains of the construction's external circular walls, with arches, support blocks and grapevines carved in stone. In the southeast, there's a wine press. with wine vats that were found buried in the cool and dry soil of the Ararat Valley. Within a small museum, pottery and jugs are exhibited. And a sundial that has been carved into a slab Also on various slabs are the monograms of Catholicus Nessus, wildlife, vine leaves and craftsmen. Architect Toromajan created a reconstruction that represents a three-story church with a column gallery that is around 49 meters high. The archaeologist's family is also depicted here. They assisted him in his work. And there's a commemorative bust. A cuneiform site is yet to be excavated. Close by in the southwest is the Catholicus Palace. Unfortunately, of what was once a large building, only the foundation walls remain. But with a little imagination, a columned hall, corridors, numerous rooms, and a throne room can be envisaged. The site was well chosen because it was here that Grigor the Illuminator met King Tiridates, who was suffering from bad health. According to legend, the Emperor of Byzantium attended the consecration of the church and was much impressed by its splendor. He therefore wanted a similar building in his capital city of Constantinople. He took the master builder along with him, but unfortunately passed away during the journey.
scattered everywhere on the site are numerous treasures of Armenian stonemasonry art, as well as mighty eagles with outstretched wings. Grand ritual stones reveal the holy place with fissures that were probably used for the anointing of oil. Also, a small chapel is visible within the ruins of the palace, most likely only used by the Catholicos. The palace itself was quite spacious and portrayed the former power of the Armenian church. The palace church appears as the crowning glory of power, a place of angels, and is a masterpiece of Armenian architecture. During excavation, it was discovered that the church was built on a man-made stepped platform with a cruciform footprint. Only a small number of circular columns with exceptional Volutan capitals remain. The second floor was supported by four central piers set up in a rectangle, and above those, a dome. A small rectangular room in the east of the church was required for liturgical purposes, with a stone baptistry located in a corner. This whole complex was surrounded by a wall that comprised 32 sides. The center of the sacred building was the holy water basin. Of its time, the palace church of Zvatnots was quite remarkable, perhaps even spectacular. However, in 930 AD, it was destroyed by a devastating earthquake. <laughs> 